Hey everyone, I'm Josh from WPSculptor.com. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make your very own video for your website background, just like you see here, using an iPhone and the iMovie app that comes with Mac computers. Now, several new and innovative companies like Airbnb are utilizing video backgrounds to showcase their products and service. You can see the video background here, and then another example would be this company called Bellhops, which is a moving company startup showcasing their service here. Now I do want to point out that to be able to follow along with this tutorial, you will need to own the Divi theme and you'll also need a working knowledge of how to use it. You can access my full length Divi tutorial or purchase the Divi theme using the links you see on the screen here. The first thing you need to do is shoot your video footage and I have an iPhone 5S which is nearly two and a half years old, but the video quality is still good enough for a website background video. Now you can use any other type of video recorder as long as the quality is acceptable and as long as you're able to get your video files onto your computer. And a couple of things I wanna point out about shooting video. First of all, lighting is key. Good lighting will add considerable quality to your videos. Also keeping your videos short will drastically reduce the file size and your video will load much faster, which is something your website visitors will appreciate. And keep in mind that your video will loop repeatedly as long as your user stays on the page containing the video. Also, don't worry about the audio on your video recordings because we're going to remove all of the audio, which is definitely a common practice for video backgrounds for websites. After you've recorded some clips on your phone, we need to transfer those clips from your phone to your computer. So go ahead and plug your phone into your computer using the USB cord. And then, of course, we're using a Mac. You're going to open an application called Image Capture, and this should be an application included with your Mac, and it's going to be in the Applications folder. So we're going to open that up. And the next thing we need to do is where it says import to, we need to click here and then we need to click on other and select the folder on our computer where we want these files to be moved to. And I've got a folder on my desktop called website video. I'm going to select that folder and then click on choose. And then all the files on my phone are going to show up here, all the video and image files. And I've got these three video files here at the top. So I'm going to click on the top one and hold shift on my keypad and click on the bottom one and then click on import. And you can see the check mark indicates those have imported and I can click on this folder on my desktop, the website video folder, and you can see all three of these clips. The next thing I'm gonna do is exit out of all of these and we're gonna open up the iMovie application which should also be included with every Mac computer. So I'm gonna open that up. And then we need to come up to the top and click on file and we're gonna click on new event. And then we can give this event a title. We're gonna call it website background and press enter. And then with the website background events selected, we're gonna come back and click on a file and click on new movie. And then we're gonna make sure that no theme is selected and click on create at the bottom right here. And then we can give the movie project a, a name and we're gonna call it guitar video. And we're gonna make sure that it's within the website background event that we just created, which it is, and click on okay. And that's gonna create this guitar video project file within the website background event. And the next thing we need to do is add our movie files that we just transferred from our phone to our computer. So to do that, make sure that you have the proper events selected. And then we can click on import media here, or we can click on import here. And then we need to find those files on our computer. And remember, I saved them to a folder on my desktop. So I'm gonna click on my desktop. And then I'm gonna click on the website video folder. And then I can select all the video files and click on import all at the bottom right here. And that's gonna add all those files. And I do wanna point out that if you have longer clips, then you might need to come up and click on this icon here. And you might need to zoom out. I'm zoomed out all the way now, but if your clips were longer, it might look more like this to where you can't see all of your clips at once. So you would just need to zoom out and that way you'll be able to see a view of all of your clips. Then I can click here and you can also hover over each clip to see the different points along the clip. So what we wanna do is add our first clip to our timeline and I'm gonna start out with this clip here. So what I can do is click on the starting point and I'm just gonna say I wanna start, let's say about right here. So I'm gonna click, hold and drag and I'm gonna select the remainder of that clip and then now I can add just this section to my timeline. So I can click, hold and drag and release into my timeline. And with the timeline, I wanna point out that you can also zoom out by coming over and clicking on this slider here, and we can zoom out that way. 
And then the next thing I want to do is add my second clip to my timeline. So I'll come up here to the top and I'm going to start with my second clip. I'm going to start about here. So I'll click there and drag and I'll end about here. So with that selected, I can click, hold and drag and release that within the timeline. And I do want to point out that once you add your clips to the timeline, you can click on the starting point or the ending point and you can further refine each of those points. So if I want to start here, for example, I can click, hold and drag on this clip and that's going to reduce it just a little bit. And then I'll do the same with the end point. I'll make that end a little bit more quickly. So we'll end about there. And then you can also click on your clips within the timeline and then hold and drag and release them to change the order that these clips are going to be in your video. But I'll leave that the way that it was. And then I'll add my final clip by coming up here and hovering over it. And I'll start about here and select that. And I'm going to end about there and then I can click hold and drag that selection and release it within the timeline and I'm going to make my start point just a little bit sooner so I'll click hold and drag and then we can click on this line and drag it over and you would be able to come over here and play your video just like that now the next thing we need to do is remove the audio from the video this is something that your users will appreciate if you noticed all of our example sites that we looked at they do not have any audio so with iMovie, we can completely remove the audio. And this is important to do because even if you mute the audio with other editing applications, you might still see an audio signal on your browser tab. And uh, even though you don't have audio, and this is because there's still an audio track, but we can completely remove the audio track with iMovie. So to do that, we're gonna click on each clip individually and we're gonna click on our keyboard. We're gonna hold control and then we're gonna click on the clip. And then we're going to click on detach audio and we're going to do that for each clip. So I'll, I'll hold control and click on this clip and click on detach audio. And we'll do that once more. And then what we can do is click on each of these audio tracks individually and press the delete key. And that's going to completely remove our audio. Once you're happy with the video that you've edited, we're going to export it by coming up to the top, click on file and then hover over share and then click on file. And first, make sure that the resolution is set at 1280 by 720. And this might be smaller than 1080 if you recorded in 1080. But 1280 by 720 is still going to be a great resolution for a video background. And it's going to be a much smaller file size than the 1920 by 1080. So make sure that that's selected. And we're going to leave the quality set to high. And then we're going to click on Next. And I'm going to save this to my desktop and just give your file a name. We'll call it Guitar Video. And click on Save. And that's going to export the video to my desktop here. All right. Now, first notice that iMovie exported our video as a .mp4 file, which is great because that's one of the file formats that we need to upload our video to our website. But we also need another file format called .webm, and we can convert our video to the .webm using a free online resource. And the second thing I want to point out, if I click on the video file here and control click on it and click on get info. You can see the file size is 12.2 megabytes, which isn't too bad, but we can also use the same free resource to make this file much smaller and still retain an excellent quality. So what we're going to do is open a browser and I'm going to go to the free resource and that's going to be video.online-convert.com. And then I'll come down and click on convert to MP4. And we, of course, already have an MP4 file, but we want to make that file smaller so we can use this tool to do that. I also want to point out that if you're using a different editing software and your video is in a file other than MP4, you can use the convert to MP4 to convert that file to the MP4 that you'll need. So first, what we're going to do is upload the file that we just uh, exported to our desktop. So I'm going to click on browse here and I'll find that file on my desktop. And of course, notice that this is the 12.2 megabyte file and I'm going to click on open. And then I'll scroll down and to minimize the file size, what we can actually do next to set file size, we can set the a target file size. And I've found out that you can really drastically reduce the file size and still retain an excellent quality. Uh, you can go as low as even one fifth the file size, maybe even lower than that. But I'm going to do one fourth the file size, which is going to be three megabytes. And we're going to come down and click on convert file and we'll see how this does.
All right, and then I'm gonna save the file by clicking on OK, and that's gonna download, and I've got my browser set up to download files to my desktop. So if I go back to my desktop, I'll minimize the browser here. Notice that we have this new video file here underneath our original. Now if I click on this, and I'll exit out of this for a second. If I click on this new file and control click on it and click on get info, notice that it's now 2.9 megabytes, which is great. Now let's make sure that the video quality is retained. So I'm gonna open that up and play that. All right, looks good. So what I'm gonna do is exit out of this and we're gonna open our browser window back up. And the next thing we need to do is convert to a .webm file. So I'm gonna go back to the video converter here on the left. And then I'm gonna find convert to webm, click on that. And then I'll click on browse and upload the, the smaller video file that we just converted. Click on open. And then I'll scroll down and I don't need to worry about any of these settings since we already have a small file. I'm just gonna click on convert file. And then I'll click on save file and click on okay. And that's also gonna download to my desktop. And if we minimize the browser, you can see that we have our MP4 file that's smaller and then we have our WebM file here. And we're gonna use both of these to upload to our website. So to do that, we're gonna log into the back end of our site. And I'm gonna open up my site on the front end as well by control clicking on the site title and open link a new tab. And here you can see our current video. And let's go back to the back end and I'm gonna to go to pages and click on all pages. And I'm gonna find my home page, which is where I wanna add the video. And I've got that right here, I'm gonna click on that. And remember, I show you how to do all of this, create this, this website entirely with the full-length video, and there'll be a link to that in the video description below this video if you click on Show More. But what I wanna do is click on the Section Settings button for this top section. And we already have our background image in place, and we'll come back to that in a moment. But let's scroll down. And here we have a background video slot for the MP4 file and a video slot for the WebM file. And if you read this little caption here, it does tell you that you do need both file formats to ensure maximum browser compatibility. So this is why we have the MP4 and the WebM. And also that notice that video backgrounds are disabled from mobile devices. So instead, whatever you have for your background image that you've uploaded here will be shown on mobile devices. So just be aware of that. But let's scroll back down and what we're gonna do is select the URL of the video in place by default. We're gonna delete that. And we'll do the same with the WebM. We'll select it, be sure to get every character and delete. And then to add our new video for the MP4, we're gonna click on upload a video. And I'm gonna to switch to upload files and then click on select files. And we're gonna find the MP4 that we minimize the file size for on our desktop. And I've got that right here. And you can see this is the 2.9 megabyte file of our MP4. I'm gonna click on open. And then I'll click on set as background video after that uploads. And then we're gonna do the same for the WebM. We're gonna click on upload a video and switch to upload files and click on select files. And I've got the WebM here on my desktop. I'm gonna click on open. And then we'll click on set as background video. And then we need to click on save and exit and now this top section is gonna have the new video background and click on update to be sure to save those changes. And we'll view the front end of our site and refresh the page. All right, notice we have our new video background and it looks great. And of course we have the rest of our site as it was before. That concludes this video tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please take a second to like the video on YouTube and subscribe to my channel. Also, you can learn how to make the exact website that I used in this tutorial by clicking on the video link here, and you can check out the Divi theme through my affiliate link, wpsculptor.com forward slash Divi, and if you decide to purchase the Divi theme through my link, I would get a commission. Thank you so much for all of your support, and I will see you soon.